Hi Gemini, welcome and welcome back to my channel. This is Dee and I hope you're doing well. This is a general reading which may or may not resonate with you. If it does, great. If it doesn't, just let it pass. In other words, take what resonates with you and leave the rest. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share, turn on your post notification, check out the community tab as well as the shorts and membership option. And if you're a private person and respect and honor your privacy, you don't have to leave a comment, but I would appreciate it if you did leave a heart emoji or a bunch of heart emojis to let me know that the message did touch your heart in some way. God Most High, what is the divine guidance for a Gemini? That's for their well-being in the highest form of love and light. Thank you, God Most High. All right, Gemini, hold on one moment. So Gemini... You have the Page of Cups, which speaks to an opportunity for a offering of some sort in the way of a friendship or a romantic opportunity that presents itself to you. It's up to you if you decide that you are interested in making this connection or not. It may be someone who is outside of your standard um, type as it relates to friends and or romance. So it may just be someone outside of that standard type that you look for. And uh, I feel like you should give them a chance. See where it goes. You never know until you allow for the opportunity. You have the Four of Swords, which encourages you to take some time to rest and relax and rejuvenate yourself, get some rest. Don't burn the candle at both ends. Just relax. Take a breather. Maybe you've been going through a difficult moment in your life. Take a breather. Just allow yourself that time to relax, okay? You have the tower moment here. So if you don't get the rest you need, you're going to find that you're going to crash out. Like you're going to be on your back. Like you're going to be, you're going to be on your behind if you don't rest. Get the rest that you need so that you don't find that yourself, that you are stressed to the max, having a meltdown, just crashing out. Rest. Rejuvenate yourself. All right? You also will be successful at anything that you decide that you want to invest your time and effort and energy in. You just need to create a practical plan as you move forward. As you can see here, this Knight of Pentacles is at a standstill. Why? Because he's carefully thinking about what his next step is when it comes to work, finances, and family. So before you charge ahead with anything, you're being encouraged, Gemini, to make the time to sit with yourself, establish a practical plan, and then move forward. And a practical plan that is able to be achieved because the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor, baby. <laughs> things are turning in your favor everything is looking up so a practical plan for success financially relational rena relationally will be yours you just have to take the time to look at and assess your situation and plan we're always planning everyone's planning you're planning your next step right now for whatever it is, for getting rest. <laughs> so fortune is on your side. Favor, luck, prosperity, abundance is on your side. And whatever you're dealing with and whatever situation, speak up, speak up, speak your truth, be open, be honest, be clear, be authentic about your position, what you find satisfactory, unsatisfactory, what works, what doesn't work for yourself or for the collective. Be open and honest. 
That's why my throat chakra was having some issues. Because you need to speak up and be open and honest, Gemini, respectfully. Okay? Because you need to be able to express your perspective so that others can understand where you're coming from. And then you can have a dialogue that will ultimately end with you all being able to work out the situation peacefully. Everyone may not be happy ultimately at the end of the outcome. Nevertheless, it's going to be the best outcome for everyone who's involved and it will be done with a peaceful resolve. But speak up so that others can hear your perspective. They need to hear a different perspective. And you have a different perspective to share. So speak up. And you have the Four of Pentacles. So there's something that is really causing you some stress around work, family, or money that's making you feel fearful of losing, losing out in some way. Do yourself a favor and make time for a meditation or prayer or however you connect with God most higher or however you honor the higher power so that you can get guidance on what it is that you need to do next with a practical approach so that you're not stressing out behind family issues, work issues, or finances. Whatever solution you are given, right? Just be patient with the process. The pentacles is associated with the earth element, so it's slow, slow moving energy. So be patient. Everything will work out. You just have to have patience. The knight of pentacles is very patient. It's very patient. It's at a standstill, thinking, contemplating, considering all of the facts and the details. Now, seeing that we have this knight on the horse, I'm going to go ahead and get the horse spirit animal card for you because I'm feeling compelled to do so. So have patience with me as I retrieve the horse card. And I hope, Gemini, that this message is helpful, that you're finding that it's helpful. I'm also going to take this snake card for you as the snake appears on the uh, world, the world, the wheel of fortune card. Well, you are making great changes. So when it comes to the wheel of the wheel of fortune, the wheel is always changing and turning, right? So life is always changing, giving us twists and turns along the way. Never anything that you cannot overcome. Never. So you have with the horse card, freedom. The message is you must break out of any limitations that are holding you back, whether they are self-imposed or put on you by other people or society. Break free and run faster towards your dreams. Break free from whatever's holding you back, whether it's self-imposed or by others or society. Break free from that so that you can move forward and Manifest your dreams and desires. Shift your energy so you're in a more um, playful energy. That's what I'm getting. So that you're in a more playful energy. Feeling free. Right? Like the hand, hangman is upside down on this tree, but this hangman is choosing to be there upside down. This brings the hangman joy and excitement to explore 
the tree by hanging upside down, to explore his surroundings by hanging upside down. It's not uncomfortable, otherwise he would not just be posturing himself that way. So free yourself up by tapping into that playful childlike energy. Children are very carefree. Tap into your inner child and be carefree. That will help you shift from this energy of worry. Okay, thank you. And you have the snake transformation. You will be shedding old skin and emotions and transforming them into something bigger and better. Change is in the wind and you are at the center of it all as this as the catalyst to smoothen the process make sure that your intentions are clear and that you move forward make sure you have clear intentions during this time of change and transformation gemini oh thank you god is there anything else for gemini I'm going to take your card on the bottom of the deck. So, Gemini, you have Lion. Remember I was speaking. Did I speak on that? Let me see. No. But with the Lion, it's time to act. Time to be bold, courageous, and to use that energy, that fiery energy, to execute your plan. And as you hear confirmation in the background with someone beeping their horn, I love confirmation like that. Thank you, God Most High. So it's time for you to take a bold leap of faith and be courageous and take action. Take action on executing your plan. Take action on this journey of transformation. You just can't sit back and just allow life to happen you have a role in this process. So take action, all right? And lions are very bold and courageous. They're strategic too, right? They're very strategic. So be strategic in your plan. So this supports that. So be strategic in your planning and be bold and courageous, all right? And with your final card, you have ink pot, ink pots, problem, problems to be resolved. So you have this card confirming that there are problems to be resolved with the ink pots. So I feel like that encourages you to write out how you see things resolving. It goes back to making a practical plan and executing. Making a practical plan to execute. Problems to be resolved. So you have what it takes to resolve the problems. You just have to execute a practical plan. All right, Gemini, this is your message, and I hope it has been helpful. Thank you for being here. Take good care of yourself. Peace and blessings to you. And I don't know if you could hear that train in the background as I read that problems to be resolved. Like the train is still um, sounding the, the horn. Like I feel like that's an amplified expression of, yes, your problems are will be resolved with a practical plan. Take action and move forward boldly and courageously. All right? Sometimes simply taking the moment to write out the plan is a bold act, right? Because it may cause you a sense of stress just knowing that you need to write out a plan or to face your situations, but be bold and courageous and face them confidently 
even if you're feeling a little fearful, a little anxious, just take that bold leap of faith and execute a practical plan because it's time to take action. All right. Thanks again for being here, Gemini. Peace and blessings to you. I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.